Hi, this is Justin from scalemodelscenery.co.uk and railwaymodelers.com. Um, welcome to another Wednesday update. First off, I'm going to let the dog in. She's just gone out. Well, we did the first tape. Now it's the second tape, which hopefully this one will do all right. And she's just come back in. And she's probably going to want to go out again in a minute anyway. So, right. Okay. Um, first things first. Uh, loading bays. LX308 to release these as in a pack of two the other week. Um, Paul Davis, a number of other people got in touch said could you do bigger packs because we're scratch building, distribution depots, we're larger warehouses etc. So um, there's now a new pack of these, exactly the same but there's a pack of 10. Um, LX310-00 is the part number, um, up on the scale model series site as we speak. Get a pack of 10 for about 10.99 I think I put them up for. Um, and I've also put them in the Railway, Model Railway Modelers Club as well. So on railwaymodelers.com, in the shop on there, you'll find these as a downloadable version. Obviously, you can't do the laser cut bits from on there because it's a download. Um, but we've put templates in for making the U-shaped part, the U-shaped former to go underneath the uh, what's it, the shelter, the dock shelter. Um, and the wraps are in there, everything else. And again, it's a pack of 10 on there. So if you want to download download them, you haven't got to spend any points there up as a freebie. Um, just go to railwaymodelers.com, log in, head to the shop. They should, in theory, be on the front page of the shop. Anyway, they're there as a downloadable PDF. So that's those. Uh, what else? At Wally, uh, somebody asked me to do um, an O gauge version of the LX163 trellis. Voila, there we go, at last. Um, obviously this is just the O scale version of the 001 LX163-00 on this one there's what is there uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 16 pieces of trellis on the 00 version there's 24 pieces of trellis just because it works out obviously smaller and we can get more on a sheet um, but this is ideal for detailing gardens and things like that sides of buildings and houses on an O scale layout and same with the 00 don't think I could do it in N but I might have a go one day, uh, but that's available on the Scale Model Scenery site. Uh, been having a chat to a chap called Jordan on Facebook Messenger uh, quite a bit this week on about platform edging. Um, obviously, we do the LX213 platform edging, uh, network rail platform edging, which works with Pico's LK62 platform facing uh, packs. Uh, I've now modified this because obviously he doesn't want to use the Pico stuff, he wants to upgrade his Hornby uh, platforms. So I've done this now with full sized network rail copings on here. So it's about a millimetre wider than the, the other one, than the one for the LK62. Um, it'll be the same price. Part number for this is LX312. It's up on the site, I think. I can't remember. I think I've done it. I think I think I've published it anyway. It should be on the site on scale model scenery. Um, so LX312, you get five strips which are roughly, I don't know, 12, 13 centimetres each. Uh, so you get quite a bit in there actually. Um, I will get in to do a demonstration of this, um, upgrading the Hobby platform with this. Obviously with it being 0.8mm thick, you'll need to use something of equivalent thickness to raise the rest of the platform up. It shouldn't give you too thick a top platform surface. It should look fine when it's glued to the Hornby platform. You'll just need something, obviously, otherwise you'll have a big ledge going up to this paving, but I hope that makes sense. Um, it does in my head, but um, whether it makes sense on camera, I've no idea. Uh, one thing I will do on these also is because the um, tactile paving texture is quite fragile on these, just because we removed that much, much material, um, each of the little pim pimples or raised sections is very very delicate I would recommend painting these the moment you take them out of the packet so until you're ready to use them leave them in the packs so they're protected um, when you're ready to paint them uh, just give it a quick coat of Halfords car primer grey primer or give it even seal it with a matte lacquer clear matte lacquer just to seal the detail on before you start manhandling it you know and position it on your layout and all the rest of it I'd hate for you to damage it before you start using it so um, give it a quick coat of lacquer or, or primer before you start just to protect it a little bit more uh, what else have I got to say um, that's probably about as far as kits are concerned so far this week um, we're a little bit busy behind the scenes. Oh, I've got a tidy desk. At last, I have a tidy desk. Look at that. Look. I've actually got 
very, very little paperwork on there now. How impressive is that? So I'm, in, in, I'm determined to keep it tidy now. Anyway, um, the other things, uh, still continuing the Oxford clearance. I found another box in the bottom cupboard the other day. So we've got a few more things that better added to the site. These are all reduced to clear. I'd like them gone as quick as possible, please. Um, it's some brilliant stuff, actually. This is really nice. Um, it's the one I used to demonstrate the loading base of the day. Eddie Stobart, or Stobart, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, Scania Highline curtain side. That's up. Um, they've been reduced pretty much rock bottom prices, to be honest. They're almost trade price now on the site. Um, we've got a RAC Rescue Mark III Transit. Uh, got a rather nice vintage Ford Transit Mark One Beaver Tail, which is really nice. Um, in fact, we've got three of the three of the Mark Threes going. Uh, we've got British Rail Mark Three Transits. Got a couple of those. Uh, got more Mark Threes. Which got uh, where are they? Somewhere down here. Which one is it? Which one is it? Um, that's not the Mark III, that's the new one. That's the Mark III. Got some Mark III Royal Mail Transits as well, got three of those to go. Again, all rock bottom prices on the website. We've got some Mark IV Transits in Royal Mail, high roof and low roof. Got a high roof uh, white IV Transit, which is right for customization, sticking uh, it transfers and stuff all over. Um, then we've got the last two, um, probably won't do any more of these, the last two remaining scale model scenery um, Morris Minor vans in a mush, kind of mushroom colour. Um, sandy beige, but mushroom if you ask me. Uh, so there's two of those with our little transfers on the back, as if we were around in the 1960s or whatever. So they're, right, they're available. Um, and then we've got three ambulances. We've got an Oxford uh, Welsh ambulance, we've got two Welsh ambulances there and we've got a London ambulance so all these have been reduced I could do with them gone as soon as possible if you can please because I would really like to have some space in the bottom cupboard there so I can get sorted um, before we move still working on uh, trying to find a unit and various other things and we're off back down to southwest this weekend to have a look at the house hopefully fingers crossed anyway I'll have a drive around again and take Ollie back Ollie's been in here all week and all last week helping Tina pack parcels and he's done a brilliant job. It's been nice having him. Um, we'll miss him next week I think because we're back to just the three of us and it'll be uh, slightly busier. Especially as we're getting ready for Stafford which is on the 1st and 2nd of the month of February. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, oh yes, and the other one is this one has been converted. It's one that Adam upgraded a while back. It's the uh, BRS Ford Cargo box van which is upgraded to work in hazard lights and I'll just see if I can switch them on so you can see what see them in action. The box on this one is a little tatty again and I, I say I've reduced these to rock bottom prices so you can grab yourself some bargains tonight if you want to. Um, let me slide these off there. and underneath there's a tiny little switch. If I flick the switch you should just about see the hazard lights flash in there and the same on the back there so that's battery powered um, you can replace the battery pretty easy just unscrew the two screws holding the body or the, the rear box on and it's a kind of one of the flat what's it coin sized batteries in there so that's been upgraded that one uh, so it's a bit more expensive than it normally is but we've reduced the prices if that makes sense um, just so I can get my cupboard clear so that is pretty much it I think um, don't think there's much else to say um, no, uh, another base. Oh, uh, yeah, baseboards. Um, you may have seen in BRM magazine this month uh, in the new issue. Phil Parker's doing a, a part work based on a layout in the box. He's used our BB20 baseboards for those. Um, I've not got them on the site yet, and I did promise to demonstrate after Wally. We've had some orders come in via BRM for those, and I'll get the BB20s up in the next few days. As soon as we've cleared the first batch of BRM orders for BB20s, I'll get them up on the main website. Um, but we've got some here ready to pack up for those orders, and we're cutting them as quick as we can. Um, so I'll get those up. They're the same as the BB17s, but they've got no end panels on. What I have done today, though, is I've put on a BB21, 
because folks were asking for a centre extension board so they want the BB17 with the end boards but they want to put another board in the middle BB21 is a single centre extension for the BB17 obviously if you extend the BB17 it won't go in the Christmas tree box anymore unless you use two centre boxes as two centre boards then you could make it into two sections that you can take apart then you could fill two Christmas tree boxes but anyway I think it makes sense Tina's grinning I'm probably confusing everybody but anyway BB21 is a centre extension board I will do a BB19 in the next few days which will be a centre extension board for the BB18 so if you're building if you've got very little space and you want to build a nice shallow layout for engage or you've just got a few things to, do, to, to display on there I'll do a, um, a BB19 which will fit in the middle of the 18. That's about it I'm s well ready for my tea now really hungry uh, need to get the video edited and uh, get it uploaded and then tomorrow try and get sorted for staff we've really got some shirts to order for people and things like that and various other bits and catalogues to print and got to work out which stands Ian and Dylan are taking it'll be Ian Dylan and Chris from Lee Models and Hobbies on our stand at, at Stafford um, this year and they'll probably be doing the Model Rail Scotland as well um, as we're up and down the motorway and trying to sort everything out to do with production moving and everything else so um, if I, I don't know whether I'll get a chance to go myself but if I do I'll pop across but if not it'll be Ian Dylan and Chris doing that anyway thanks for watching have a lovely Wednesday evening uh, please like share subscribe and all the usual stuff um, oh that's what I was gonna say I'll, I'll put another video in tonight's newsletter um, I've put an add-on plug-in thing on the Railway Modelers Club website which allows you now to turn the articles into um, PDF files. I had an email conversation with a chap called Chris this afternoon who said it would be he was really enjoying the articles that Ian's done, the multi-part walkthrough of layout in a box. But he'd like to be able to read the articles on his iPad offline rather than being connected to the web uh, and save them off as PDF files onto his Kindle app and things like that. So I had a bit of a play. I've installed a free plugin on the club which allows you to click the like there's a green button at the bottom of each article. Click the button, comes up in this PDF preview window and it brings in bigger images and all sorts of things and formats the text nice. You can edit stuff, you can move things around um, to make it nice and presentable um, rather than having all the extra bits that are on some of the club articles you can remove the bits you don't want and um, but that's entirely up to you it doesn't you're not editing anything on the club site you're just editing the PDF that you're about to print or save off but that allows you to click a button you can email it to yourself you can print it and you can download the PDF so you can stick it on your Kindle or your other e-reader app or your phone or whatever you want to do or, or so print it off whatever so that's working um, if you notice any problems with it, I've tested it myself this afternoon. I've done a quick video of how it works. I'll put that in the newsletter below this video. Um, if you notice any problems with it, or you can't get it working, let me know, because I'm just testing it at the moment. So please shout if it doesn't work for you. Let me know what happens. Um, anyway, that's it. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a lovely evening. Cheers.